PlayStation and Guerrilla have just released a 24 second clip of new gameplay from Horizon Forbidden West, featuring Aloy's new combat skills, weapons and tools, as well as a vibrant new outfit. Before we get into this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for all the latest Horizon Forbidden West news, but let's go, because there's a lot to cover. In the clip, we can see Aloy traversing through the environment to take out some claw striders. She uses the new pool caster to gain some height and the shield wing to safely land beside the claw strider before using one of 12, that's right, 12 Valor Surge features to take down this new machine. Diving deeper into the blog post, which will be linked below, the lead system designer David McMullen states that Gorilla's traversal design decisions were always in service of increasing dynamic interactivity with the world around you. This could be to empower the player to manipulate and destroy their environments with a tool like the pool caster, or grapple launching into a glide with the shield wing to set yourself up for a strike from above. And for those of you who will be playing Horizon Forbidden West on PS5, the DualSense wireless controller is heavily featured throughout our mechanics. From a scrape of rubble as you push a crate, to the sensation of an unravelling winch as you use the pull caster, with the increased adaptive trigger tension as you pull. We've also added extra tactile dimensions to increase both the gameplay value and the feeling of being part of the world Aloy is moving around in. This can be as subtle as the sensation of grass brushing around you to indicate you are entering stealth grass, or the pop of the adaptive trigger as you reach maximum draw of a bow. We also use the absence of adaptive tension to help communicate when you're out of ammo. It's also been confirmed that the free climbing system is a huge feature and has allowed for large sections of terrain to be climbable, and rocky surface areas are freely climbable without the use of tribal handholds. I don't know about you, but I'm struggling to contain my excitement from all of this. But moving on to traversal. From this clip we see Aloy using the pool caster, which is a wrist-mounted device with two separate functions. The first being the grapple mechanic, which will allow Aloy to swiftly and easily ascend the environment. And the second function allows Aloy to move and destroy the objects in the environment, such as pulling a hidden loot chest from a ledge or open a vent to create a new path. This weapon just sounds amazing and it's so much more than I expected, and I can't wait to use it in-game. We then have the Shield Wing, which will hopefully stop most of us from dying of full damage. The blog post reads, The Shield Wing combines well with numerous other mechanics both in and out of combat, such as landing on your mount, zip lining, the strike from above skill, and more. Another new weapon we saw in the trailer, the Spike Thrower, is a new high damage weapon that when timed right makes it easier to hit larger targets. The blog post goes on to talk about how we'll have an increase in player choice, ranging from melee, weapons, outfit, skills and other new mechanics. We aren't done yet, as something we've all wanted to hear more about is the workbench, and the blog post provides us with a little bit more information. You can upgrade and strengthen weapons and outfits. This unlocks new perks, mod slots, skills and offers a bigger degree of customization, resistances and new abilities for the players. The skill tree will work the same in terms of levelling up and being bought, but the difference is, is that they've completely reworked the skill tree with additional tracks and skills, as well as skills that will combine with others. They also talk about how they are building from skills and other features in Zero Dawn to make them come through stronger in the Forbidden West. A big thing that has changed in the sequel is the melee. Lead combat designer Dennis Zopfi explains that they wanted to bring the melee and ranged combat closer together, and uses the new Resonator Blast skill as an example which is where you charge up the spear with melee hits, and then when fully powered, that energy can be placed on the enemies and followed up with a projectile, resulting in a damaging explosion. Valor Surge is another feature that they covered and revealed that there are a total of 12 Valor Surge features, which you'll be able to unlock and upgrade through a skill tree with skill points. With three levels to each Valor Surge, the higher the level, the longer the charge up, but the more devastating the attack will be. The main reason why there is more reward for melee combat is because getting close to enemies can be dangerous, especially in the Forbidden West, so being able to take down enemies like this will be very satisfying. Unlike Zero Dawn, human encounters will no longer be separate, as the world of Horizon has changed and there are more machines and factions who can fight in groups, so we have all been warned. 
The blog post ended with Dennis explaining the effort that has been put into creating more choice and depth for players, and that they're super excited to see how we'll all play as Aloy with all these new possibilities, skills and weapons. Well that was a lot of information for one day, Gorilla sure are keeping us on our toes with these teasers and blog posts. February can't come soon enough. If you enjoyed this video and are super excited for Forbidden West, feel free to subscribe to never miss the latest news, leave a like and I'll speak to you in the next video.